we are going to get ready to do some lamb chops. So I have all my prep. And we're going to clean off a little bit of the fat cap and clean up these because these are going to be a past hors d'oeuvre. Um, and our marinade here, we have some garlic pureed, lemon juice, uh, onion powder, smoked chipotle, salt, pepper, and fresh lemon juice. There's our lamb chops, and we're going to put them on this pan to bring them over to that tilt skillet to sear them. Taking the lamb chop, taking the bone, and away from the you're going to spice like this. Very thin, turning the blade upward so you can trim off the fat cap that's on it with taking very little or no meat with it. The goal is no meat with it. So, we're putting our knives like this until it's all clean. So, when cleaning the lamb chop so you get nice, uh, clean bones, turn your blade inward against the bone to slide down, you'll pull all the tissue and you get a really nice clean bone for passing. So just watch again. Angle down, I gotta look at what I'm doing if I don't feel like um, cutting my fingers up. And across. And this will come on out. Then you can take, at the end of this, take your knife and just scrape like this and I'll take away any excess and you will be able to clean these up really nice. It's a really elegant thing you can serve um, for the cocktail party. All the lamb chops are clean. And what I did was I put our marinade in a bowl. I'm going to take these and I'm just dipping them on the bottom because I don't want the bones to get dirty. But I want to go heavy on it. The bottom, and we're going to let them rest on the sheet pan before we, probably not, I want to get them to room temp a little bit before we, uh, and sear them. Um, and I want the marinade to go on to them a little bit. So we're going to do this to all of them. We're going to go around four minutes on each side. So, throw our thyme and our garlic in. Now, if this is a cast iron pan, you could use a spoon to kind of put the stuff on top after we're done searing it. But once you get a nice hard sear and we want all that crustiness in here because we're going to deglaze with red wine so that we can make a delicious pan sauce this. it smells outrageous i'm not even gonna lie here we go since i'm not doing this in a pan where i can just use a spoon i'm just picking them up giving them a quick rub and putting them back down pick up some of that flavor from the butter um, we need probably around another minute, and then we're going to take them out to rest, and we're going to deglaze the pan, and then we're going to put them all in a pan ready to go for our event, and we'll finish them there at the event. All together, get all that flavor. We're going to strain this out so that we don't have any of the herbs and garlic, and reduce our sauce down. There, the racks are gonna go like this. We will heat them in the oven for 12 minutes at 400 for a perfect medium rare. Let them rest and slice them. And then we'll warm this up there and we'll put it on the side for a little dipping sauce as a pasta d'oeuvre.